The 1986 movie Critters is getting a TV series. And the Game Boy Classic is finally here. Find out in this episode of Retro Crunch, coming up right now. What up to my peoples? Welcome back to Retro Crunch, your nostalgia news show that's all about current pop culture, movies, music, and games that relates to all things 70s, 80s, and 90s. So in case you didn't notice, my voice is a little bit raspy because I've been out in the cold a lot and I'm over here in England and still trying to get used to this weather. But hey, didn't want to leave you guys hanging and wanted to make sure you got your retro news every week. So here we go. Nope, your eyes are just fine. And this is not the Gremlins. That was a clip from the movie Critters from 1986, which is a sci-fi horror comedy. It's about some little alien monsters that come to Earth to chow down on some human sandwiches. Unlike Gremlins, these guys start off ugly and they just get uglier. Critters are coming back to take another bite out of Earth. The campy cult horror franchise Critters, which spawned four films between 1986 and 92, is set to return with a new series adaptation on Verizon's Go90 streaming network. If you enjoyed these movies as a kid or even now, head on over to Collider.com and check out the story in full. I'm still waiting on the Gremlins revival, but that's just a pipe dream. Anyways, I'll link to that story down below for you guys. And then some retro toy and TV news. If you're a child of the 70s or 80s, or love the toys from that generation, you might remember a small toy line called the Micronauts. It was a North American science fiction toy line manufactured and marketed by Mego from 1976 to 1980. There was also a comic book for the toy as well, but neither really took off and the toy production rights had changed hands many, many times. Well, Hasbro is finally planning to turn this old gem into a cartoon series and is coming on the heels of announcements of a Micronauts movie that's set to come out in 2020. I never played with these toys growing up, but I do seem to remember them being strewn all over play areas and bins of toys that kids didn't like. So I think Hasbro has their work cut out for them. And they are trying to cut into a Transformers market that's pretty saturated with knockoffs, not to mention all the other toys that are like it that are out there. I'm curious to see what the storyline will be about though, and I do remember these toys a little bit from my childhood, so I may try to keep tabs on the show progression. Next up in retro gaming news. So, we haven't got an announcement on a new Game Boy by Nintendo, but it does look like a company called Hyperkin may be releasing a version of the Game Boy handheld called the Ultra Game Boy. And it's probably going to come out before Nintendo even has a chance to bring theirs out on the market, if they were even planning on doing that. Some notable features for the Ultra Game Boy will include a built-in 6-hour battery, a USB-C port for charging, as well as a pair of stereo speakers and left-to-right audio connections. Also, it will be able to plug into your and play all your Game Boy games on it. If you like the retro console knockoffs that are on the market, this handheld might be right up your alley. Or, if you're like me, you're going to hold off and hope and dream that Nintendo makes a Game Boy Classic of their own. And then, since it's almost Super Bowl time, I would be remiss if I didn't mention the Super Bowl commercials. Well, Retro has its place in this year's lineup with Cindy Crawford once again gracing the Pepsi ads for this year's Super Bowl. I hadn't seen her old 90s Super Bowl commercials since the 90s and I still remember them like yesterday. So guys, set your VCRs. Super Bowl Sunday is February 4th. And that's all the retro news that I have for you this week. If you liked the video, do me a solid and hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, it would be totally rad if you subscribed and joined our Retro Tribe. We put out groovy videos every Monday and Friday. All right, Retro Heads, I hope you enjoyed the show, and I'll see you in the next video. And remember, if it ain't retro, it ain't worth watching.